Hi, my name is Adam Chapman. Hi, my name is Alexis Fuller. Hi, my name is Autumn Bryant. Hi, my name is Maddie Pastrano. Hi, my name is Jackson Kamadolski. Hi, my name is Jessica Preet. Hi, my name is Caitlin Wiseman. Hi, my name is Kelly Pyburn. Hi, my name is Rose Jensen. Hi, my name is Riley Bowe. Hi, my name is Samuel Kirk. Hi, my name is Lamar Lewis. Hi, my name is Adrian Trujillo. Hi, my name is Hi, my name is Lita Hi, my name is Anna Boone. Hi, my name is Kyle Reardon. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Hi, my name is Jimmy Method. Hi, my name is Jonathan Figueroa. Hi, my name is Jake Pelleggi. Hi, my name is Connor Jessica. Hi, my name is Cora Montana. Hi, my name is Christiana Rodakovich. Hi, my name is Max Romano. Hi, my name is Andrew. Hi, my name is Erica. Hi, my name is Peter Brubbles. Hi, my name is Ryan Mel. Hi, my name is Michelle Lawler. Hi, my name is Michelle Lawler. Hi, my name is Amaya. Hi, my name is Ray Hi, my name is Ray Hi, I'm Barbara Collins. Hi, I'm Jane Rome, and this is for the culture. Hi, my name is Jessica Lee. 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 Hi, my name is
It can perpetuate some negative behaviors such as drug and alcohol use, bad language, and disruptive attitudes. How damaging is this really? Um, I struggle with this with my son. He listens to a lot of, of current rap music, like Lee Hosts and all the little Uzis and little everybody else's. And, and sometimes when I listen to the lyrics, I'm like, I, I wish that these talented people would spend more time on, on more positive messages because it's a lot of uh, you know, swearing, cussing, overt sexuality that seems like it's very gratuitous you know, and there's no real good message to it. And it, you know, it kind of makes me a little sad. I wish that there was you know, something more positive because I think that does subconsciously convey a lot of negative feelings and attitudes uh, towards women, towards other groups of people. And so there are some definite, some negative connotations there. I think it's I think it's difficult to kind of break it down because you don't really know the negative effects of it because it might just be a reflection of what's negatively happening in society, not necessarily a, what's happening as a negative thing um, from pop culture, but it might be just going on and we're getting this echo or this reflection back from our culture, like this is what's happening. So I, I can't really state like what exactly what I would say is a negative in regards to like, oh, this is negatively affecting kids. I would say if I were to just have a pulse on it, uh, engagement within, within the digital world uh, could be a good thing and it could be a bad thing, depending on if it's a dependency or if it's a way that you're becoming connected. So finding that healthy medium I think is important. Um, and I think a lot of people listen to music to escape the world, which I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing depending on the person but it is something to think about philosophically. Like People are just listening to music all day. Is that a good thing or a bad thing if they're trying to not listen to the sounds or engage with other people in society? In a lot of music today, they talk about drug use and alcohol use, but really I feel like that's just their experiences and they're trying to, or famous people are trying to like show their complete self to other people and not necessarily saying that it's a good thing what they did but they're showing themselves and saying that it's what they did and they're trying to move on from it. Although there could be some adverse effects of pop culture, it is safe to say that it delivers an overall positive attitude. It is meant to be a unifying force and if used correctly, it can connect society through ways like no other. Uh, yeah, so I think if you figure out what, um, so if the, positive, the, the positives of pop culture could be if you find something that you can gravitate towards and it's a, it creates a positive effect on your identity, I think that's a really healthy thing. Um, it's not a bad thing if you like things, but if you start liking things that have a negative effect on your health, your, your attitude, your, your personality, things like that, I think may want to avoid those but um, if it gives you a sense of purpose and a place in the world that's a good that's a good thing so um, in connect connectivity like some people they find their place within social media they find a place where they can exist and um, feel comfortable with the people they communicate with and before social media those people might not have had an opportunity to have a space for that so um, I think a lot of it's just monitoring having a healthy approach to, well, how much is enough and at what point do I have to cut myself off for my own well-being, so. My daughter is in seventh grade. She had a basketball game yesterday. And at her junior high, the other junior high came in and they were playing music for warm-ups. And it was a song that I wasn't familiar with, but it was a typical pop song. And both teams in the, in the stands the older teams all started singing the song and doing dance moves in the stands while the song was going on and like even some of the players on the court were like kind of doing it along with them so it's like clearly here's a cultural thing that they all know and they understand and it got them all excited and pumped up and so yeah so sometimes um, I do see that you know because of my um, participation in snowball I see a lot of it when I go there because we have a dance on the one night and you can see all the kids get all excited when certain songs come on and they all seem to know the dance moves that go along with it or associated with it. So it's kind of cool because it's something that does bring all sorts of different people together and unites them. 
There is no question that pop culture is significant in society and particularly in the Downers Grove South community. After observing the thoughts and beliefs of our peers and teachers, we are able to gain a better understanding of how pop culture plays a role in social interactions and overall ties us together. Without these unspoken customs, we would lack a sense of commonality amongst each other.